Hello world and thanks for joining me. My name is Mohit Desponde and in this course we're going to be learning how to manage and analyze data using Pandas, a library called Pandas, for data analysis. So we're going to learn a lot about how we can read in data from sources and then manipulate it so we could use it uh, for further data analysis. So some of the things that we're going to be learning about in this course is we're going to learn about data frames, which are how we can store data in Pandas so that we can later use them for any kind of analysis We'll learn how to read information from CSV files and Excel files. We'll learn all about how to select, sort, uh, filter our data, and then we're also going to get into how we can do different kinds of grouping and data aggregation uh, as well. So we're going to be learning a lot of different things that center around this library's data science and data, anal data analysis library called Pandas, and we're going to really learn how to uh, use it so that we can do further data analyses on uh, the data that we have. We've been making courses since 2012, and we're super excited to have you on board. Online courses are a fantastic way to learn new skills, and I take a lot of courses myself. Zenva courses consist mainly of video lessons that you can watch and re-watch as many times as you want. We also have downloadable source code and project files, and they contain everything that we build uh, in the lessons. It's highly, highly recommended that you code along with me. In my experience, that's the best way to learn something is to uh, kind of get your feet wet or get your hands uh, dirty. And lastly, we've seen that uh, the students who get the most out of these online courses are those that make some kind of weekly plan and stick with it, depending, of course, on your own availability uh, and learning style. So uh, Zenva over the past six years has taught all different kinds of topics on programming and uh, game development to over 300,000 students over a hundred courses. The skills that they learn in these courses are completely transferable to other contexts and domains. In fact, some of the students have used the skills that they've learned in these courses to advance their own careers, to make a startup, or to publish their own content from the skills that they've learned. Thanks again for joining, and I look forward to seeing all the cool stuff you'll be building. Now, without further ado, let's get started.